I afford an independent school education? This presentation will provide you with answers to common questions about affording independent schools. Hi, my name is Mindy Hildebrand and I'm the Director of Enrollment Management at Science and Arts Academy, an independent school serving junior kindergarten through eighth grade gifted students located in Des Plaines, Illinois. In my role, I talk with families each and every day as they begin to explore different educational options for their child. The reasons for searching for a new school are varied. Maybe the local public school is not meeting the child's needs. Maybe a different instructional approach would be better for the child. Maybe the child requires greater challenge or differentiation. Although the reason for exploring educational options is varied, some common thoughts that cross the mind of almost all parents at the beginning of this process are, independent school is too expensive. There's no way I can consider it. Well, you might be surprised to find out that there are actually quite a few different options available to you that can make independent school more affordable than you think. As we go through this presentation, I'll highlight a variety of different options that will hopefully allow you to see that independent school is an option for your child and it can work for your family. So what are some of these different options to support with financing an independent school education? Some options, such as need-based scholarships and payment plans, are offered directly through the school. Other options, such as tax-exempt education savings plans and Illinois tax credit scholarships, are offered through government programs. Additional considerations can also be explored through private organizations or even through extended family members. As we go through this presentation, I'll go into more detail about each of these different options. So let's start by looking into what financial supports are offered through Science and Arts Academy. Need-based scholarships also commonly referred to as financial aid, are financial gifts awarded from Science and Arts Academy to families based upon individual level of financial need. These are awards, not loans, and they do not need to be paid back. Currently, 37% of SAA families receive need-based scholarship funds, totaling approximately $750,000 in aid. Any family that feels as though finances are prohibiting the exploration of independent school should apply for a need-based scholarship. There are no specific income guidelines or restrictions on who may apply for financial aid. If you have any concerns about your ability to afford Science and Arts Academy's tuition, it would be in your best interest to apply for a need-based scholarship. The need-based scholarship application is separate from the application for admission. Applying for a need-based scholarship does not influence the admission decision in any way. So how do you go about submitting an application? The first step is to submit an application to FACS along with a $35 application fee. FACS Grant and Aid Assessment is an independent third-party company that SAA partners with to objectively determine each family's individual financial need. Next, you will be asked to submit supporting documentation, including your 2017 federal income tax return, supporting schedules, and 2017 and 2018 W-2s. There's also the opportunity for you to include a personal statement in your application if you feel as though there's any additional information not otherwise included in your application that should be taken into consideration in your ability to pay. In order for new applicants to be considered for a need-based scholarship, the admissions process must be completed separately and concurrently. You'll want to mark the box on the admissions application indicating that it is contingent upon receipt of a need-based scholarship. The application should be finalized and submitted by February 15, 2019 for priority consideration. Applications will, however, continue to be accepted beyond that date as long as scholarship funds remain available. So let's now assume that you've submitted your financial aid application. 
How is eligibility then determined for a need-based scholarship? FACTS will review your application to objectively determine your individual financial need. Multiple factors are considered by FACTS when evaluating your ability to pay, including household income, family size, expenses, assets, liabilities, and more. Your financial need is the gap between how much FACTS determines your family can afford and the full cost of tuition at SIA. The maximum need-based scholarship award at Science and Arts Academy is 50% of the full tuition. If your child is accepted for admission into Science and Arts Academy, your contract will reflect the need-based scholarship award and the remaining tuition balance. You would need to then reapply each year. Awards may vary from year to year depending on any changes in your family's individual financial situation. Aside from need-based scholarships, what else does Science and Arts Academy offer to assist with finances? Well, SIA offers four different payment plan options, annual, semi-annual, quarterly, or monthly, so that you can find a plan that works best for your family. Now that we've gone into detail about the different financial supports offered through the school, let's take a few moments to explore some other financial supports that are offered through government programs. 529 plans are specialized tax-free savings accounts that can be used for K-12 and college tuition. You may want to reach out to a financial advisor to discuss if and how a 529 plan could help with your child's education both now and in the future. Newly established in 2018, Illinois now offers something called a tax credit scholarship program. This program provides scholarships through Empower Illinois to kindergarten through 12th grade students from low-income families. Students with unique learning needs, including those who are gifted, are eligible to receive even larger scholarships, which may help cover the full tuition of attending Science and Arts Academy. Please note that the Tax Credit Scholarship Program is separate and independent from the SAA Need-Based Scholarship Program. So, what is the qualification criteria for a scholarship through Empower Illinois? In order to apply for a scholarship through Empower Illinois, you will first want to check if you meet their qualification criteria. Before April 1st, priority will be given to students who meet one of the following four categories. One, are members of a household whose previous year's total annual income does not exceed 185% of the federal poverty level. Two, reside within a focus district. Three, received a scholarship during the previous school year. Or four, are siblings of students currently receiving a scholarship. After you have explored tuition assistance through Science and Arts Academy and through government programs, there are a few remaining options that you may want to consider. Some private organizations, such as NAGC, IAGC, the Davidson Institute, or others, may offer the opportunity to apply for individual scholarships. Tuition loans through private lenders could also provide some additional financing options. Some offer lower interest rates and longer terms than what is offered at SAA. Your tuition solution is one such example that has been used by some SAA families. Additionally, sometimes grandparents or other family members might be willing to help support tuition. We're always happy to meet with extended family members and provide a tour to help them understand more about our school. All in all, there is lots to consider, but if you think your child could benefit from an independent school education, I am hopeful that through this presentation you learned that there are many different options to help make it possible. At Science and Arts Academy, we do not want the cost of tuition standing in the way of considering our program for your gifted learner. 
If you have any questions about any of the information provided in this presentation, or if you'd like to talk further with me, please reach out to me at any time and I would be happy to set up a time to meet or talk on the phone. Thank you for watching and listening and I hope to have the opportunity to connect with you soon.